The Florida A&M University Marching Band, formerly known as the Marching 100, was recently suspended indefinitely for the academic school year. These disciplinary actions come as a result of last season's hazing death of drum major Robert Champion. Since the band has been suspended, substitutions for halftime performances have been implemented. This past Saturday, the KIPP Atlanta Collegiate High School Band from Atlanta, Georgia performed. This incident has brought light to the severity of hazing. The school has begun to take more caution involving these circumstances by having students sign anti-hazing pledges and posting an anti-hazing website. Uh, the fact that we have a, a culture that uh, apparently thinks that it needs to thrive by hazing persons is, is not good. So uh, that's a loss. Uh, however, Lord A&M, uh, 125 years of age, is going to move on. I mean, you can definitely tell by attending the games that the life isn't there because the bands obviously bring a lot of energy to it. But at the same time, I think because of the FAMU family, I think they use that as a rallying point. The fans aren't the only ones affected. The players on the football team are currently experiencing what it's like to play without the roaring sound of the trumpets and trombones fighting along with them. The band gives us great energy, but you know, with, the, with their absence, we feed off each other. You know, uh, as a football team, we're all brothers. As the investigation goes underway, 12 band members have now been charged with felony assault. The university president and the band director have both resigned. For now, FAMU's school community, their players, and their fans will now have to adjust to the absence of the school's most prized possession. For Spotlight Network, I'm Lindsay Bethel.